Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drew, drawing, drawing, <laughs> oh, <laughs> messed that up. Uh, okay. <laughs> Beep. Today we're going to be drawing King Kong with his axe, right? So it's from a poster. So he's just like standing, he's, he's slightly tilted and you got the axe coming across his body, right? So his head's quite small, right? Because I wanted to fit in just the axe coming up from his hand here. So his head's up here, I might have to zoom in. But um, let's go. So landscape orientation paper, use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. So center point of my page is about here. So we come up, I'm going to start with his eyes, right? So particularly his big sort of frowning face, okay? So he's got these like big frowns, right? So like that come across his eye. And like come out and around here. And then they go up around like that, okay? He's got another one on this side, so it curves down. They're kind of wrinkly, you know, they can have these sort of wrinkles on them. The other one curves around as well, like so, okay. And then he's got like a furry sort of line that comes across the top of them. And you can add more wrinkles and things on the inside if you want. Right, like that, right? So in under here, then we have his eyes, right? So, He's frowning quite heavily, so we've got like frowny nose lines there. And then his, the bottom of his eye will come around underneath here. And it's really small, crazy small. So it goes around, around back into there, right? Right, so then what we can see of his eye on this side, we can just see like a curved line here. And then his pupil is up under here somewhere, up underneath his frown, like there. And then on the other side, similar sort of thing. So just like there, coming around. And then pupil in underneath his sort of frown. So very small, okay? And then we have lines and wrinkles and things coming out from his eye, right? So wrinkle lines coming around underneath his eye here. So, right, and then we have that sort of love heart shaped nose at the front, right? So it comes out around. Right, like so. Kind of curves around here. And we have two black sections on the inside. We have dark shadow in here. And there is scars and wrinkles and things on this nose as well. So and he's two scars on his nose. I think he's one on his forehead as well. So I think he's got a scar here somewhere. I'm gonna add one anyway, because it makes him look a bit cooler. Uh, right, so then there's like bumps and wrinkles for his nose here. But like the side of his nose and coming up. Around. 
like so. And we got some lines coming down his mouth. Right, so his mouth down here is, he's got sort of, you know, we can see sort of one tooth sticking out and stuff, right? So let's just go, we'll go, we'll just do a diagonal line down to here, right? And then there's a tooth sticking out from it, just there. And then it'll kind of close itself off down here. And then we'll go down like so. Then we'll bring it around for the bottom lip. And up around to there, right? And then we'll do the teeth on the inside. So we got like a fang sticking up here. Like so. Another fang sticking down there. And then teeth coming across the top and the bottom. So the ones across the top. So we got like a line coming across here. And then we got teeth. So tooth in here, kind of like round sort of teeth, flat on the bottom. Like so, and then some down here, so flat again. shadow inside of his mouth. All right. Okay, so then we got like wrinkles kind of around his nose as well. Like this. And then he's got sort of like mouth lines on the edge and coming down from his nose as well, coming down here, down to the sort of the side of his mouth. Right, and we'll add like some extra wrinkle lines coming up here. Like so, and we'll give him like a bottom lip line just here. Okay, so then he's got like a beard and like lots of hair and stuff coming around and maybe like some lip lines just there too, right? So the hair kind of like, you know, real furry coming around here, right? And it comes up in like a beardy type way. So like to a sort of V underneath his bottom lip here. And then it'll go around and up. Like so, okay. And so this line kind of keeps going from here up around his face, right? So kind of hairy, sketchy line up around to here. Like so, right? And then in here is like all sort of wrinkly and So then this comes down to his beard, right? So his beard is like real long. So it's gonna like come down. Come down to a point sort of down here. So it'll be like a couple of hair spikes down here somewhere. All right, you do the same sort of thing on this side. It's kind of sort of a square, sort of jaw-like shape. Um, 
Yeah, and then so the other so this is like the front of his beard, but the back his beard keeps going back this way, right? Red square then goes up the side of his head. Like so. Then his ears come out from here. So we got one ear on this side. They're pretty small. Comes out here and you can add like bones and ligaments on the inside. And something similar over here. Right, and you can add some texture to the hair. Maybe like another sort of furry brow line coming around here. And then his head. So his head, again, sort of a hairy, sketchy sort of line coming up like so. And normally like apes and chimpanzees and things have like another sort of area here and maybe some like lines going up the side of his head. Okay. Right, not bad. So then shoulders, right? So his shoulder is kind of turned away from us, right? So one shoulder is smaller than the other. And this hand on the right hand the left hand side is holding the axe and can't i can't fit in the whole hand it kind of comes down off my page and the axe then comes across here okay so we'll do we'll do this shoulder first i guess so real big hairy sort of shoulder trapezius muscle comes out here right so that's his trapezius muscle right and the shoulder bumps out from there So like the other side of the bicep is like here. So this is the armpit, right? Armpit just here. So you'll have sort of extra sort of shoulder muscle area here. You know, you can have like shoulder fur here. And then tricep comes down to an elbow, which eventually will turn into the forearm that way. So the bicep will go in here. And like maybe tricep line. And then the forearm. Is furry as well, like fur lines, and right. 
like that roughly right so then the handle of the axe is going to come out here right across his chest so we'll go right and then he's got um wrapped sort of fabric or something around it so Bumpy up around to here, right? All this bandage is kind of wrapped around like this, and it's got like loads of fold lines and things on it. But you know, you don't have to draw all of it in. Just a couple of texture lines on each one will do. Right, and so he then this wood has like a spike. Coming out the top, there. Wood texture on it as well. So then the actual axe itself, that sort of blue um, iron or blue stone or whatever it is. So it's like, so it comes out from here. So we'll carve it spiking around. Right, and it's got like two spikes on this side. And then this comes down. Like so, and it comes out the other side then to like a real extra spiky section. So it's got like three or four spikes out here. Like so, and we're just going to give it like some three dimensional um, extra lines, right? So like up here, like an extra sort of line coming down like this. And something similar, just following the bottom line like this. You know, it just gives it just a bit more form. And then we'll go, we'll add some extra sort of edge lines here as well. So cracks and, and stuff come running down it sort of. Right, so it's got the, um, like, what would you say, like designs on it and stuff. So, and it's done, it's done in sort of white glowing blue sort of lines, right? But I'll draw it in just so we know where it is, right? So it's kind of a particular pattern. So we've got like, it's kind of like flame or something. So it goes up spiking. So 
So I'm just drawing this in black just so you have an idea of what it looks like, but it's actually done with, with white. So I'll probably go over it afterwards. Right, and then comes down. sort of lines Let's back in that way and then another one goes in there comes up like so and then this one comes around inside so it's, it's hard to describe them but um, they're just sort of zigzag patterns I guess you could kind of do this any old way but that's what I got anyway okay so side of his body Kind of comes out from his bicep kind of here somewhere right so big sort of lats coming down and then coming down off the page sort of this way and then like like there and then his chest muscle will come out from here somewhere it has to and then the center line for his chest along here Uh, we can't really see nipples, right? Well, maybe we can see a nipple on the other side. So, like, hairline comes out here. And chest muscle comes down. And in around to there. Maybe, like, a nipple there somewhere. Right? And then, side of his body comes down here. And there's no ribs or anything because he's all fur. You know, so so you can't really see much in terms of anatomy or anything. Mm -hmm. But I'll add like, some extra lines just just so we can. We have a better sense of what we're looking at. Oh, and he has um, scars coming across his chest. Like a triple. There, it seems to go across his chest that way. All right, so then his other shoulder comes out from up here. Comes down. And then you can have like texture lines and stuff. And it comes out like so. And then his forearm. So quite a big forearm on this side. Big hairy one. And then he comes back in this way. And so this is like his thumb, I guess. But we can't really see much. And his finger goes off this way. This is all hair and fur.
Okay. Um, is that it? I think that's everything. You know, and you can keep adding texture all the live long day on, on things like this. You know, it's... You know. But I think I have to leave it there. That is how to draw Kong with his axe. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.